I don't know the cause for this epidemic, but it continues to get worse. Over the last few months, there has just been an unstoppable flood of videos showcasing insufferable douchebags going ballistic at customer service workers for no reason. I have made so much content insulting these people, I'm basically like the dare class for it now. But instead of warning you about drugs, I'm warning you about being an unlikable asshole. Today there's been a pretty goofy one involving a hotel guest getting upset at a hotel worker and making unreasonable requests because he's too fucking stupid to figure out how to book a room properly. Or he's just a straight up scammer. Two kids, two adults. Yeah. The reservation on our phone is clear, but we reserved. Yeah. What do you expect us to do? Well, with that one, we could get you checked in. It came in as a king suite reservation, so it has a king bed and a sofa pull-out couch. Now, the video starts in the middle of the boss battle here. We're coming in raw right into the front lines off of a hot drop. So what's happening here is the hotel guest urinal cake is now starting to argue with the worker because he's unsatisfied with the room that he booked because he doesn't believe it's accommodating enough for the four people that's with him, two adults and two kids. Now, it is missing a little bit of context what led up to this, but luckily the hotel worker did make a TikTok to explain it, and it sounds like this guy was just trying to scam. So what happened was he basically reserved a two queen bed suite that had the two queen beds and the sofa pullout couch, um, but then he called and he canceled that reservation because it was too expensive, and then he made um, another reservation through a third party for the king suite that has obviously the king bed and the sofa pullout couch. Um, but he was fighting to get like the two queen bed suite, but we were sold out. Yeah, this sounds really shady. This sounds like a really dog shit hustle that Ed Ed and Eddie would have done to save a couple extra quarters to spend on jawbreakers. According to this story, he booked the larger suite with two queen beds and then canceled it, went to a third party to book the king suite, and then made this wonderful idea, this genius plan to throw a temper tantrum, kick his little feet, shake his fist, squeeze his nipples, and complain to the worker until they upgraded him to the queen suite, which he had just canceled. And it clearly didn't work because he must have forgot that hotels can sell rooms once the, they've been canceled. So the lady explained to him that every other room was booked, so he had no other alternative, so he's just stuck there with his dick in his hand in that king suite that he purchased, or that he reserved. And he's not very happy about it. We expect this to be that. We, we, we have two kids and us. We can't all sleep with a kid. That's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, I understand. It's just, it's the way that Booking.com sent us the reservation. So all that we have is that and we're sold out for tonight. Okay, I get that. So what do you expect us to do? That's my question. What, what do you mean? What does she expect you to do? She expects you to go fuck yourself. Who cares? She's not your mom. It's not her responsibility to coddle you. She's given you the, the cold hard truth and you're refusing to accept it. And there's nothing she can do. There's no wiggle room to somehow just snap her fingers. And all of a sudden, all of the hotel rooms are available for you to take your pick of. It's just, it's, you figure it out. You cause this problem. It, this is a problem you created. Now you find the solution. You're the one that blew this whole operation here. Ruined the family vacation. Bah humbugged Christmas away with your terrible booking. You know, that's on you, buddy. Like, I don't understand why he's trying to put the onus on her to solve the problem he created. And again, this is assuming this wasn't a scam from the get-go, which to me it does sound like it. Like he's going through this sob story of, we have two kids. <laughs> It's two adults and two kids and it's it's cold outside. It's it's 70 degrees outside. Like what what do you want us to do? Go out there and freeze to death? Oh my god, we're going to fucking starve if we don't get this double queen bedroom. <laughs> no. It seems like he's just trying to drum up a sob story and try and get upgraded and pay the price of the the king suite, which was a smaller one. And if the goal was to scam, I think he should have done a better job of acting and come up with a more sympathetic story. Just go whole hog with this one. Double down. Get the family involved. So, you know, get some props. You, you have your wife wheel in one of the kids on a stretcher, right? With an oxygen tank set up to it, maybe even like a, like a heartbeat monitor or something. And you just like gently pat their head like, It's okay, Cliff. We'll find somewhere else to go tonight. God damn it, Martha. I made him a promise. We'll get him to that doctor's appointment. We just need somewhere to stay first. We'll find it. You know, then maybe with the, the sympathy and the tears start flowing, then maybe the, the you know, hotel worker somehow clears up a room. But you just didn't commit hard enough. I do think this is a scam, by the way. I, I really do get that feeling. He continues to ignore the most crucial part of this statement. It's not just a king bed in that suite. It's a king bed plus a full pull-out couch. Or a full pull-out bed from the couch. So, that's already two beds. You can absolutely, comfortably 
have four people in a two-bed situation. Now, I do understand that it's possible he's in a loveless marriage and him and his wife haven't shared a bed in the last, like, ten years, but I think just for one night they could set that aside, sleep next to each other in order for him to have an extra night to solve this problem, but for some reason he keeps ignoring that statement about the pull-out couch. That's what I'm saying. It. Yes, so we could either check you into the room or we could cancel the reservation. That's the only two and options. Super car? Have, no, I'm not. Yeah, I mean, where else are we going to go? Are there any other Holiday Express hotels you can check us into? Is I don't have the power to do that, but there are Holiday Inn Expresses in Bloomington. So you're not going to help us. You're going to say, take the room as it is, or you're on your own. Yes. Yeah, that's exactly what she should do, and exactly all she can do in this situation. There is no further help she can offer because the whole place is fucking booked, and it's your fault that this has become a catastrophe. What I can do to help you guys is get you guys checked into the room that has the king bed and the sofa pullout couch. But apart from that, we don't have any other rooms to check you guys into. If it's regarding what you guys reserved, you would have to call booking.com so that they could assist you with something that happened on their end. But this is just the information that we've received from booking.com. Who hasn't checked in? What else is available? Where are four beds? We don't have any other rooms available. Who hasn't checked in yet? Uh, another brilliant plan from the chess master. So now he's wondering if he can just take a room from someone who hasn't currently checked in. I'm sure that's totally legal and won't lead to a huge problem for the hotel worker to do that. Man, this guy really does think he's the main character. I have no doubt he's gone through his entire life with people just absolutely giving him everything he's ever wanted on a silver platter. He just comes across as that kind of entitled douchebag. What an absolutely outrageous ask. Who hasn't checked in yet? And can I have their room? What do you mean, no? These rooms are reserved. I can't take them from somebody that's already reserved a room. He gave somebody our room, right? The way it was supposed to be reserved? No, because we held the room that we had the information for, which is the King Suite. That's what Booking.com sent over to us. So we kept that room for you guys. You can hear this guy's brain start to melt down as it sloshes against his skull here and hurting itself as it's trying to process everything. So he believes that they've given away the room that he rightfully earned after canceling it. I, I believe he's referring to the, the room with two queen beds. And so he's, for some reason, upset about that and trying to guilt trip them like, oh, but this, this is what we really wanted, even though he had canceled it. So just a, a big blunder here. How did you think... Four people would fit in that room. I mean, when, when, when you see it come in, don't you go, hmm, this doesn't make sense. No, because booking.com sends us the information, so that's the reservation, and we hold it as it is. You didn't thoroughly investigate this man's family after he had reserved a room through booking.com? You didn't go to his Facebook page and look at the height and weight of each member of his family in order to deduce whether or not they would comfortably fit into a king suite? Are you even doing your job? <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, now I see the guy has a point. <laughs> Just what a fucking stupid asshole. Holy shit. And again, he keeps ignoring the most important part. It's not just one king bed in that room. There is also a full mattress on that sofa. It's a pull-out couch. So he can absolutely fit his whole family there. Four people can stay in two beds. It's been done plenty of times before. I've also been in the situations like that where it's no problem at all. It's pretty easy. So you think so you think four of us can sleep in that room? That's your suggestion. I I'm not too sure how you guys were going to, you know, do the setup in there. We just have the reservation as it was sent into us. And you have no other alternatives to solve it. We're completely sold out for tonight. Shockingly, no other room sprung up as available in the 30 seconds this guy spent pressing the issue, so unfortunately it's still in the exact same spot. Though if a room did become available, I would absolutely understand if she just didn't bother telling him, because fuck this guy. <clears throat> I'm just stepping in, like you have a king bed and a pull off bed, right? Yeah. You have two beds and yeah. four kids, two kids and us. And it's it's not your business either. What are you doing jumping into this? It's not, well, look, I mean, I don't I'm think that it's... I'm not your business. I'm I, it's, too bad. Okay, you know, yeah, shut it. Uh, that's not really respectful. I think we can just go ahead and cancel your reservation. Then what are we going to do? You know, I'm not too sure, but there are a lot of hotels in the area. 
Why don't you just sit tight for a second? I will. I'll be here till 11. I believe this cliffhanger is him attempting to intimidate her with a call to the police department. Uh, at least that's what I'm led to believe here. Uh, but who really knows since season two of this hasn't rolled around yet. But I'd love to know what he'd call 911 about. Like, what's your emergency? Well, you see, uh, at the nearby Holiday Inn Express, they're not letting me steal someone else's room. No, 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 I booked the King Suite and canceled the previous one, but I should still get the previous one, am I right? No? Well, what do you mean? We'll cancel if there's no penalty. Yeah, we can cancel. Um, if there's no penalty. Is Booking.com going to charge us? No, but you just got to give a call to Booking.com and let them know that you want to cancel, and then there's no penalty. Okay, call Booking.com. What's, what's, do you know what the cancellation terms are? Is there a 24-hour notice? Is there... They could tell you. This is where the random NPC encounter finally concludes. Uh, for some reason, he keeps asking her Booking.com's policies as if she's somehow an employee of Booking.com now as opposed to this hotel. Uh, so, uh, what a real mess, you know. This guy's bad news. I'll just say what everyone's thinking. You know, I'll be brave. I don't like this guy, and I'll say it. I, you know, I don't like him. I also don't know what the fuck he expected to happen with this whole thing. Even if there were available rooms, I don't know exactly how this scam works. Why would they just upgrade you to that room for free when it's your fault? It's your mistake. I just don't see that ever really working, but I guess it must in some capacity if it's if it's a well-known tactic. But anyway, I just wanted to share this because people that insult and be rude and nasty to customer service workers for no reason always deserve to be made fun of themselves. And that's about it. See ya.